Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, uh, today is December the 30th, 2022, and, um, it's hard to believe, you know, we're at the end of the season here. I'm out in the greenhouse. Uh, I'm gardening in Pennsylvania Zone 5B. Um, we had that cold, uh, that storm came through. We were minus 9 with wind chills well below, um, zero. And um, this here is the old greenhouse, and I was going to show you here some of what we still have going on in here. You see the beautiful gumfrinas here, these are ready to be picked. These plants here are over a year old, and they're still going. We just keep harvesting off of them, we keep feeding them. Beautiful plants, beautiful colors too. These are uh, still the Gumfrinas here. We had a lot of wind with that storm and it was blowing with the, it had the snow blowing. We had a lot of ice with it. Um, the lights were blinking, but thankfully uh, the heating, um, thankfully the electric didn't go out. So um, we still had our heating systems in the greenhouse. Uh, the other two greenhouses, um, we did have some damage in them. I will show that to you. Um, they just couldn't keep up with, uh, the heating systems just couldn't keep up with how cold it was. I mean, minus nine is really cold. And then when you have a wind chill to it, um, we actually had snow in the greenhouses, even though we had the door shut, it was blowing that hard. It was actually blowing the snow in through any, uh, spot it could find where like the door wasn't sealed a hundred percent right. So, um, it's like 60 degrees today, and we have the doors open, and last week we were like minus 9. Steve, you can see we still have some uh, celosia here. Now, some of these plants, they're getting pretty tired, so uh, we're going to be taking um, a lot of the celosias out. Our beautiful status. We still have our beautiful status here going. This in here is ready to be picked. Here's some more beautiful status. See, so we got our eucalyptus trees back here. I have some stuff I do have to cut out of them. But, um, the moringa trees up there. But I'm really happy, you know, with uh, what did make it through. And uh, like I said, we didn't have any damage in this greenhouse here. This is the warmest greenhouse that I have. Um... The other two greenhouses did uh, sustain some damage from the cold temperatures. See, we have a beautiful crop here of Dusty Miller. Um, I'm probably going to be transplanting this into uh, the bed house um, when we can get that heating system straightened out there. We were having some issues with that heating system. You see, we have some more status here. I do have some stuff to uh, cut out of here. This is the second greenhouse here. We definitely sustained some damage from the cold in here. Um, you know, the heat pump, I don't think that thing shut down the entire time and just couldn't keep up with how cold it was outside and with the wind blowing. So, um, see, I did lose one of my plants there. Um, that was, I'm trying to think what that was, that was my uh, cinerarium plant. It was actually getting ready to start blooming again, and I lost that. Um, I don't know if that's going to come back. It looks pretty bad. It would, it would have to come back from the root system. I lost quite a bit of the pansies. They were in the um, bed house, and... Uh, we had to bring them over into this greenhouse to try and keep them warm, but I lost a lot of them. Lost a lot of the pansies, too. It was just that cold. And, you know, pansies, you usually can uh, keep them outside over the winter time, and they come back for us, but it was just it was too cold for them with the wind blowing and all the cold in the greenhouse. The status took the 
tops of that out. I'm going to have to cut all that stuff out. And they were right on the heated floor. That was one of my rinoculus. It is going to come back from the center, but um, it was growing out really nice, and that's gone. A lot of little my little rinoculuses were damaged. Um, few of them made it through, but a lot of them were just damaged. It just got too cold for them. These here, you can see the damage on these. These were coming back from the Corms. Oh boy. Yeah, they definitely have cold damage to them. That's a shame. These over here need uh, need some water, but um, they appear to be pretty good. And sometimes you don't always see the damage right away. Sometimes it shows up when it starts warming back up or when the sun comes out and um, that's a shame there I didn't lose all of them but I lost quite a bit of them see what it did to the status back there I've never had it damage stuff like that in this greenhouse before but it was really really cold see my rinoculus corms here are coming up happy about that <laughs> they survived but um, the rinoculus seedlings we did try putting them on the floor but uh, it was already too late the damage was already done to them And you can see the damage in the bed house here. This one here, um, the wind actually, uh, there's like a vent that goes over the heating system that allows it to properly work. And the wind actually blew the vent off multiple times and it kept shutting the heating system down. So I would say that just about everything in here is completely done. Um, but, uh, <laughs> that's how you learn. Um, there were a lot of issues with this particular heating system in this greenhouse and um, still being worked on to be fixed. And, uh, we did put in additional uh, lines for the heat, but um, you can see the damage of what happened. So, um, this one here was definitely took the worst. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you this quick uh, video update here. Um, you know, I don't even think the heat in the house shut down for I don't know how many days because of how cold it was. But, um, yeah, when your heating system goes down or it starts malfunctioning, which is what happened with this one here, you're going to start losing your plants like crazy. So it's definitely something that has to be fixed and worked on. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you as I put a new video on. Also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description to my Twitter account. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a nice day. Bye.